Guys, I should be prepping for PMB because I leave tomorrow. I mounted one last set of tires, but I'll be honest. I want to do something else. And it's not really race related. I promise you guys I would do what I want to do. So we're going to work on something else. Mark Sedmario, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the RC vlog, guys. We're gonna do a super random build today. I say it's random, there is a rhyme and reason, but I'm not gonna tell you guys yet. But today, guys, we're building another Traxxas car. Let me grab it. Boom! The Traxxas hot rod. You're probably wondering why would you build a Traxxas hot rod? Well, I want to bring it to PB because I think it looks cool, and I want to bash it and beat it up at PB. So I really, really enjoy bashing just as much as I enjoy racing and I don't want to leave home without a basher. So we are going to build the 33 Hot Rod Coupe, the Factory 5 Traxxas Hot Rod. Oh man, I'm so excited. This is the blue one. I don't have the blue one yet. All I have is the red one, and we're going to do a lot of stuff to it. We're going to hop it up. What's up, guys? I shot this video about 10 days ago. It was before I left the PNB, and I couldn't share what I'm about to share with you now. If you don't already know, the Traxxas Hot Rods are on mega sale right now. I think they're two for, I don't think, I know they're two for $2.99. You can get them at your local hobby shop at that price, or you can order them from Traxxas.com. But one of the reasons why I never really drove mine is because they were so nice. But now that they're cheap, I can drive them with confidence and beat them up. This one's actually already broken. The one that you're going to see being built in this video is already broken, and that will come in a following video. But yes, go check it out. If you haven't done so already, two for $2.99. You can mix and match however you like any of the hot rods. Go check out your local hobby shop. Pick them up before they're gone. But you know me, I can't pass up a good deal. So there's going to be a lot of hot rod content coming really soon. All right, back to the regular scheduled program. Oh my gosh, so clean. Mega clean. Oh, so clean. I have the red one. I have the, the red hot rod or the the coupe and then i have the silver truck this is the blue one i've always wanted the blue one because the blue one looks super freaking sick i think all of them look sick and surprisingly i think they handle really well i think it has something to do with the small shocks but it has a lot smaller shocks than like a regular Fortec. but these things handle really really well but i'm not just gonna take this how it is we're gonna hop it up let me show you the hop ups i got for it first off of course we gotta brushless this thing. We, we gotta go fast. And then we're gonna put the Supra wheels and tires on it because they're a lot wider. And the Supra actually has so much traction, you don't even need TSM. We are gonna put TSM on it also though. But I got Supra wheels and tires. I have the Sway Bar Kit and the blue aluminum anodized turnbuckles. Oh man, this build shouldn't take long, but it should be really rewarding because we're gonna have a super fast hot rod with matching blue alu aluminum anodizing. Oh man, I'm so excited. Let's get started on building. I actually like these wheels and tires too. What do you think? Should we keep these on there? Uh, we're probably not going to, but they're not, they don't have as much traction. I don't think they'll perform as well, but they look cool with the black with the silver ring. Let's do this. I am so stoked. And I promise I'm not going to treat this one like a shelf queen. I will drive this and beat it up. Uh, I do that too much to my cars. So I made a pact to myself. We we're going to drive it like I stole it. A moment of silence, because this thing will never be this clean again. Alright, let's get started. I just noticed this one has the steel center drive shaft. I thought it had one of those, the kind of the cheap aluminum ones. And it also has the center drive bearing. I didn't know the hot rod did that. And I think this one's actually a little bit longer than the normal Fortec 2.0. Which is strange, because you think the hot rod would be shorter, but no, it's longer. These are the new ones. These came out this month. Some subscribers probably don't have them yet. That's how new these are. These are the nut drivers. The RC Box Club gold nut drivers. God, these are so clean. It's the little things, guys. The little aluminum anodized parts that make such a big difference to me. I think they're actually all the same size. No, there's two that are smaller. But you just want to make sure the little notch on the turnbuckles go the, the same direction. And they should always go to the driver's side or the left side of the car. You can see here... See how there's a little notch right there? Uh, you want that to the left side of the car. All right, turnbuckles are done. Oh, 
is already starting to look amazing. Look at that. Okay, I'll show you guys the finished product when I'm done, I promise. All right, guys, putting sway bars on now. <clears throat> Seriously, guys, might have a problem here. The hot rod doesn't have a spot to mount a sway bar on the front. This is the Corvette. See how it has this piece right here to mount the sway bar? That is the hot rod. It's not there. No sway bars it is. All right, sway bars off. We're going to put the power system in now. I am going to put the high-speed gear in it right off the bat because, you know, we like to party. All right. Stock system out. It's been a while since I've opened up a brand new Valinian brushless system. A little uh, unboxing, mini unboxing. There it goes. Oh, that's nice. All right, motor and ESC are mounted. However, I'm switching out the receiver because we're going to put TSM in this thing. We're going to need TSM. It's going to be fast. All right, she's all done. I have the new wheels and tires on it. The gear mesh doesn't sound right to me. I did mount the letter it told me to mount on the motor plate, so I'm going to assume that it's right. All right, she's all done. The gear mesh doesn't sound bad when I'm actually driving it. I don't think it's the mesh of the gears. I think it was just brand new, so it was... Maybe the ring and pinion gears were maybe a little new, so they have to be worn in, but it doesn't sound bad at all. I'm super stoked. I did wear the tires in a little bit, but yeah, let me show you the finished product. Oh my goodness, it looks so good. Look at that with the wheels and tires. Oh, it looks so sweet. I mean, this car just looks amazing, and man, I bet you it's blistering fast. I haven't given it the beans yet. We're about to give it the beans. I might put a GNSS analyzer on it just to see how fast we're going, but man. Let me show it to you with the body off. Oh, look at those turnbuckles. Valenian system. So clean. So you did have to take the back plate off. That's the only, I mean, you have to take it off in order for the uh, motor to sit flush in there. But they do have a plastic back part, so it doesn't look bad. But man, this thing, oh. All right, let's drive this thing. <laughs> Man, guys, I'm not going to lie. I kind of want it to be faster. I think it's going to be fast enough to wow people, but I want it to be blistering fast. I might have to change the gears up a little bit. All right, guys, I couldn't take it. I had to know. I put the biggest gearing that I could put in here. That's 2772. I ended up going to my on-road stuff and getting a 272 pinion. So we're going to do a high-speed run. We're going to find out how fast this thing really is with the fastest gearing that it says it allows. We're going to charge this battery up. Get the GNSS analyzer. guys so there it is the fastest it will go with the highest gearing that you can put in it officially you could probably fabricate something and put something crazy in it but it's 49 miles an hour that's 72 27 72 two spur 27 two pinion 49 miles an hour super fast a lot of fun uh that's that's gonna be a lot of fun i think i can hit 50 for sure if i had a longer stretch and i could stay on a little bit longer I do think I had TSM turned up a little too high because it was getting a little wobbly. I also didn't glue or tape my receiver down in the receiver box. I didn't do it because it's actually hard to get it out if you tape it with really good tape and all I have is really good tape. So yeah, I didn't tape it and that wobbling could be because 
the receiver might be moving in there. I'll fix it when I have time. But I will bring this thing out to PNB because I do have some ideas, some really cool videos that I want to do with this thing. But man, this thing is freaking beautiful. The lights too, guys. The lights made it really easy to do those speed runs at night. Well, I hope you liked this video, guys. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell. Later, guys.